What is up guys, we are back with another reaction video. This time we're checking out Somewhere Over the Rainbow, the Wizard of Odds movie clip. This is by Judy Garland, you guys told me. I checked out one song from her, Old Man River, and I've also checked out Somewhere Over the Rainbow by Israel Kamakuki. I never heard any other covers of that song. She looks like she's 12 years old in this, so I can't imagine she lives up to the standards of my guy Israel Kamakuki. But anyways, why don't we just give her a shot, see what it's all about. All right, let's do it. Okay, you know what I like so far? Is that she is singing this in nothing like my guy Ichiro Kamakuki. It's completely opposite, but then again, she was probably first, so he was the cover. But the thing that really fascinates me about this is she looks like she's no older than 12 years old in this. No older than 12. Yet she sings with such control and such a, like a professional. She sings like an absolute pro and she's so young. So I can't, I don't know. What was she singing when she was like five? Because she has such presence, and you can just tell instantly. Like, I knew, like, oh, dang. This, this, this girl doesn't mess around. So. Oh, shoot. All right, whatever. Someday I'll wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind. Melt like lemon drops away above the chimney tops. That's where you find me. Somewhere over the rainbow, birds fly. Birds fly. The thing I like most about her though is her control. She's singing with such precise control and clarity. Clarity, like her, I don't know, it's very, it's a lost art, I feel like, singing cl clear. Like, you turn on the radio nowadays, I don't know what the heck they're singing about. I don't, whereas her, she emphasized each word so, so uh, fully, like through, with her entire heart. And honestly, it seems like a different song. Like, if you play both of these back to back, I wouldn't even realize it was the same song. Just the way that they sing it is so polar opposite, but in good ways. Because I wouldn't want them to sing it the same way because it would just seem artificial and fake. This is real, authentic to themselves. You don't... Sun opening up. didn't even move honestly i don't know how the heck she did it but the way that she sings it's just like a, a deep sadness within herself and the thing is she looks like she's 13 years old so i don't know where all this is coming from but the way that she sings it's just so much sorrow it's like she's just pouring out her soul it says that it was in a movie the wizard of oz i've never actually seen the movie yes i've heard of it but i've never actually watched it it's in the wizard of oz but the thing about acting back then there was like no cuts it was like you do it in one take and that's it like they were so fancy editing or the fact that this like 13 year old girl goes on there does that in one shot it's just remarkable and i love the contrast between her version and israel's because they were so different his version i get like a positive uplifting like somewhere over the rainbow it's a very positive sounding song 
This one is like a deep sadness type song. And they're singing the exact same words. It's just how they enunciate, how they perform it. That's so wild to me. And I'm sure both versions resonate with a lot of people, but I could see more people being drawn to this one just for the sheer fact that it's more like authentic sounding. But wow, you guys were right on the money with this one. This is an instant classic. I really did enjoy this. If you guys did too, make sure to smash the like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what I should react to next. Be happy to do it. And take it easy, everybody. Till next time.